Hello Capricorn viewers. Today I'm going to be looking into your situation. Um, gotta look into your love life, see what's going on there. This could be a new person, an ex. I know the last reading we did, I was getting that you were letting go of someone that was toxic and then you had this patient empath that was coming in. You had this kind of love triangle going on. This seems to be getting a lot of that energy actually in the readings the past few weeks. All right, so please be clear and direct for the Capricorn viewers. What is going on regarding your love life? What do you guys need to know? What is the story regarding your love life? Capricorn viewers, what is going on? Please be clear and direct. Six of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Pentacles upright, Nine of Cups. Oh, okay. So, uh, Nine of Cups upright, the Sun, the Five of Cups, the Hierophant reversed, the Moon upright, Four of Wands reversed. So I feel like. Looking at this here, I, I feel like you are letting someone go, but I think that you know it's for the best. So I think you're still in that energy where you're releasing somebody with the five of cups. I mean, it's like, because I see the sun here. It's like you're looking forward, like you want this new life. You want more. You know, you're, you're trying to be strong and confident and you have a lot of hope for your future right now. With the five of cups, you know, you see she's watching something. That's just like she's watching this ship that's sailing away from her, but she's not trying to go after it. She's just sort of letting it go. She knows it's for the best that it that she lets it go, even though there's pain, nostalgia. Um, she she knows that she she needs to let that go. So might be a situation too where like somebody else left but you're just kind of letting them leave because you're realizing it's for the best that they're leaving with the hierophant reversed i feel like this person was probably controlled like they probably tried to control you um this could be somebody that cared a lot about what other people think they're kind of reserved kind of you know go along with society very traditional very just there's some kind of controlled energy but with the hierophant reverse it's like you're getting through that that's what you're letting go of you're you're letting go of for i'm looking at this i'm looking at this reading i feel like for some of you it's also i think that maybe you've had control issues and letting this person go is helping you release your control issues because you're just kind of getting into this this mentality of whatever wants to go can go and whatever wants to stay can stay. And it's just helping things flow into your life more smoothly. Um, so I, I think that, yeah, I think allowing this person to leave, this person that, you know, you, you realized it was over, you realized that you wanted more and that they were kind of blocking you. And so whether whether you left them or they left you, you're just you're kind of just releasing it. But I feel like, yeah, I feel like by just kind of sitting still and sitting in your power and just letting things be whatever they're going to be, you're letting go of your control issues. And for others, this might not even be a person specifically that left. It could just be in general, you're letting things go, like friends, lovers, whatever wants to leave can leave. Um, and, and you're healing your control issues by doing this, by, by living in the moment, by just, you know, allowing things to just kind of happen naturally allowing people to match your energy naturally without trying to force them to um it's getting you out of that controlled stagnant hierophant energy so that things can just kind of flow to you more smoothly um it's really good i think you're being stronger and more secure when it comes to your finances too with the six of pentacles reverse it's like you're not just giving away your finances or your, your energy or whatever it is away easily anymore you're kind of in this stronger um, the stronger energy of the Knight of Pentacles where you're trying to to be a little bit more balanced. You're trying to, to 
balance logic and emotion, you know, seek out the truth, be grounded and stable and make the decisions that are right for your life. With the Nine of Cups here, I think it's kind of like you know, you might already have, there might already be a love triangle going on or there might be somebody new that's just about to come in. Um, I think that you're aware of this though. I think that you're kind of, you're not looking at this frog anymore. Whatever this energy was, this this person that you're letting go of, it's like you're realizing that they're a frog. You're realizing that you don't want that. You're realizing that you want to look ahead to the future. Ahead to the future. You don't want to keep stay in this energy with this frog. Basically, you want more. So you're ignoring this person now. You're moving past this person. I think you're aware. Like you're almost at your ten of cups. Your your family, your abundance, your completion, your you know true love, happiness. You're just aware that you have this little road bump to get through. Whatever this was, these control issues, or. Um, you know, this this person that was stagnant and kind of just holding you back, um, whatever it was, it's like you're letting this energy go and you're moving forward and you're getting into your intuition. You're developing your intuition more. You're, you might be telepathically connecting with this new person as well, but you're, you're just kind of, you're using your intuition a lot more. You're, um, you're, you're making this I think vow to yourself to be more intuitive in the future so you don't get stuck in this stagnant controlled energy you're trying to get back in tune with who you really are and you know using like heart and emotion and, and intuition over you know um, the restraints of your mind basically and I think the placement here with the the moon and the four of wands reversed, I think it's saying two different things. For one thing, I think it's saying you're using your intuition. And when a situation is no longer like the upright, this would be like happy celebration, good times, like a peaceful, sweet, loving environment, like the honeymoon phase. But it's like it's upside down. So it's like it's that's over. And you're using your intuition now and in the future to be honest with yourself about when, um, when a situation is toxic, when a situation is over, when a situation is no longer serving you, you're, you're really getting into this more intuitive state. I also sense that I always see this person as like nostalgic too. So I think the second meaning is like you've been in a state where you've had to be nostalgic over something, but you don't have to be nostalgic anymore because it's like you're finally, you're moving past this, this person that was just kind of, just kind of stagnant, just kind of not on your level, just dead weight. And you have this other person that's either just come in or coming in and you don't have to be nostalgic anymore. You don't have to long for true love anymore. It's like it's here. You know what I mean? It's like I think you felt alone with this person. And so you probably dreamed about having that kind of love. And it's like just it's saying, you know, you don't have to really wait for that anymore. Um, let me see what else I can get here. Okay, can you show me what is going on with... Well, we know you're letting go of, of the old person. It's just... I don't know. That's just, it's just stagnant, you know? For some of you, it was toxic. But for others, it wasn't necessarily that they were, like, a horrible person. It's more that they were just, like, not on your level. Like, you were too much for them, and they weren't enough for you. Um, they just couldn't really match your energy. They weren't really your other half. They need somebody who's... Um, I don't know if they need somebody who's like more submissive than you, but they need somebody who's, who just wants less out of life, I guess, if that makes sense. Like they need more of like a, just a normal, typical relationship. And I think you wanted a lot more than that. Um, you wanted more of like the romance and the passion and it just was lacking in that connection. They just weren't, whatever the situation was, it's like they just weren't really meeting you. They weren't really quite enough for you. But let's see what's going on with this new person. So we've got like, let me see. So we've got, that's like the speed bump you have to get through. I think you're aware of it though. You're like, I have to, like you're working on letting go of control issues and letting go of, of any toxic people that have been holding you back. And getting into this like intuitive space where things just flow more naturally to you. Um, but let's see what's going on with this new person because I do still sense that energy. So show me, please show me simple, clear, direct what is going on with this new person in your life. Fragment, cycles, the moon, see more intuitive energy. 
denial summon. I think it's saying here, so we have fragment and cycle right here. You know, you see this, like, it's like this ghost-like figure that's kind of just fragmented. And I think it's saying that cycle is over. It's like with this, this could be, okay, for a lot of you, I think it's a person that you're letting go of, a person that was stagnant and holding you back. But for others, this could just be your own energy that was holding you back, like your own defense mechanisms and your own, like, mental patterns and belief systems and um control issues and just a certain way of being and thinking that you're like you're letting go of all that and you're having this breakthrough and all these epiphanies and you're coming into this new energy where you're you're trusting your you're using and developing your intuition and trusting your intuition above all else and letting things just kind of flow to you more naturally um and then for others of you it was actually like a relationship where you just didn't feel like yourself you just kind of felt fragmented it's like you weren't all there you were kind of detached um, you felt like you couldn't be in your power. You couldn't be your true full self because it overwhelmed this person. Um, and that cycle is over. So whether that was a person that was just making you feel like you couldn't be your full self, you were just, there was some energy basically where you just could only be part of yourself, like a little, like one fourth of yourself, basically you, you couldn't be your full self. And so, so again, for some of you, that was a relationship that was stagnant, that was holding you back. It just lacked passion. It lacked romance. It was, it wasn't, it wasn't for you anymore. Um, and then for some, it's just your own energy and your own belief systems and control issues and maybe like chakra blocks and that kind of thing that were just kind of keeping you stagnant and keeping you out of touch with your true full self. Um, and that cycle is ending. You know, you're having these epiphanies and breakthroughs that are getting you out of that cycle finally. And a lot of it is just your willingness to, to be intuitive, to use your intuition, to explore the psychic world to explore um some of you could be exploring witchcraft that kind of thing it's it's like you're you're letting go of uh old ways of thinking and doing and being and, and feeling you know you're 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 letting go of all that old stagnant energy finally so it'd be good for you to do cut and clear work and uncrossing maybe soul retrieval as well if you can find an experienced legit shaman that would be good um, but, but yeah, that, that whole cycle is just ending and you get to be your true self. You're coming into your power again. And with the moon here, it's like, you're using your intuition. Like you're getting, you're, you're using your intuition. I feel like you might be actually tell, you might have a strong psychic bond with this new person. And, um, there might be like a lot of telepathic communication and I feel like there might be like denial on your end or theirs. Like you might not be used to this kind of connection. You might not be used to having like a really deep psychic connection with somebody where you can just feel what they feel and just tune into their thoughts and their emotions so easily. Um, you know, you're, you're coming in, you might be having like your awakening too, where it's like your in intuition just comes flowing in. It's like a tower moment. It just comes in and just shakes up everything you thought you knew about life and about yourself. So you're going through a lot of really heavy life changes right now. Um, and, and you might be in some denial because you might not, you, again, you might not be used to this kind of connection. You might not be used to channeling and, you know, the psychic awakening, um, process and like this deep psychic connection you have with this person and just all this like new energy that just contradicts everything you thought you knew about the world you might be in a little bit of denial at first you know you might be a little confused at first it's it's like a tower moment for you it's just lots of ep epiphanies and breakthroughs coming in all at once it's, it's some pretty intense energy it's really good though but you're gonna have to summon you know courage and strength and you're gonna have to keep using your intuition and you're gonna have to have faith and just trust um, and just keep pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. Just whatever you do, just don't go back to your comfort zone, you know? Like, if you are just getting, if you're new to psychic work and you're just starting to channel, then, like, you do want to look into grounding and protecting yourself and, and going about things the right way. But, um, but don't go back to just being logical all the time and being, like, restrained and controlled, you know what I mean? Like, make sure you stay out of that energy. Make sure you keep moving forward with like the sun energy and the summoning energy here um you know being intuitive using your psychic power stepping into your power being your true unapologetic self not restraining yourself for anyone or anything continuing to let go of control issues continuing to push yourself out of your comfort zone and just summoning courage and and faith and um 
just really continuing to develop your intuition. So, so yeah, you do have this beautiful psychic bond with somebody. Let me see what else I can get. What else can you tell me about the connection here? Because this is focused a lot on you, which is good. It's, it's good, but let's see. Can we say anything else about the connection specifically? That one. High Priestess of Fire, Trapped. See, High Priestess uh, Trapped and Obedience and High Priestess of Fire, I think it's kind of saying like that's where you were at. You were obedient, you were trapped, you had these control issues. But you're reclaiming, again, you're reclaiming yourself. You're getting back into this fire energy, this passionate, courageous, strong, fearless, just brutally honest kind of energy. You're being your true self again and you're not worried about who likes it and who doesn't like it. You're just, you're going to be your true, your, you know, just stay true to yourself. Just keep being your true unapologetic self and the people that aren't your soul group, the people that are, if you're too much for somebody, if somebody doesn't like that energy, if somebody doesn't like your stubbornness and they don't like your passion and your fire and your, your courage and how outspoken you are and all of that, if they don't like that, then they're not for you. They're not a soulmate. They're not part of your soul group if they if they can't resonate at all with your energy like that, you know what I mean? So just be true to yourself. Just stay true to it. Get back, get your real energy back. Do the soul retrieval. Get your true fire, your passion, your your zest for life, your outspokenness. Get your true energy back and just stay true to that above all else. And the people that are not for you that don't resonate with that energy, just let them fall away so you can make room for your tribe, your soul group, your real people that are going to admire and love that passion and that energy that you have. You know, you want the right people. Um, and I think that this new person, this psychic bond, I think that he or she is turned on by this energy. You know, like they do love this and maybe they're part of that. Maybe they're bringing you this zest for life back, you know, um, and they're trying to have the confidence to come through with a message, I feel. Let's see. Yeah, because they admire that. Like other people are intimidated by it, but this person isn't. They admire that energy about you. So they're they're trying to be more clear about how they feel about you because they really, you know, it takes confidence to match that fire energy. Um, it's like they admire all the things about you that other weaker people were intimidated by. You know, they see you as this individual. They see you again. This person loves you for who you are. They see they see who you are. They get you. They they love your courage, your passion, your outspokenness. And it's like your true love will love that about you. They'll love all those things about you that other people were afraid of. You know, like your true soul family will love those things about you. You're not going to have to water it down or tone it down for for your real soulmates and your real soul family. You know what I mean? You only have to turn, tone it down for people that aren't meant for you, that don't resonate with you. So it's not really a loss to let those people go. But this person is wanting to, this part that your true love is wanting to come through with a message. Like he sees your individuality. He or she sees your individuality. They see your, um, it could be something with birds, like a connection to birds here too. But they're seeing, or you could just be empathetic and empathetic and close to animals in general, and they're noticing that. They're noticing that, like that, just that energy about you, that empathy that you have. Um, be like a mutual love for animals we have here. We got the birds and the horse and the cat too. <laughs> so that's yeah, it's good energy. There's a lot of like animal spirit guides around, possibly too. But anyway, yeah, it's it's. It's like they see you as unique and creative and artistic. Like you can be a weird, you can be your true, weird, passionate, creative, um, just brutally honest, raw self with this person. And they're going to be more and more turned on. You know, the more you're yourself, the more this person's going to be turned on. Like they love that weirdness and that quirkiness. It sets you apart from the rest. It sets you apart from everybody else. So just be your true self. There's just a strong message in these readings in, the, in this, both spreads that I pulled, just to be your true self, be as weird as you want to be, be as creative as you want to be, just let it all flow. And yeah, they're moving forward with you. They're wanting, they're, they're seeing your uniqueness and your creativity, and they're wanting to move forward with you and have this, this deep connection. And remember, there's a lot of telepath, uh, telepathic communication going on between you two that you might not be used to, but that is going on with you guys right now is what I feel. So anyway, if this resonates, Please go ahead and uh, subscribe. Thank you.